So it's your boy, Downsize, and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This one right here is about Zesty Gunplay and his recent Zesty activities, where he's photographed with what looks appears to be him going in for a kiss on another artist. And it's recently come out, uh, uh, an exchange of messages between them. And, you know, I guess the guy's admitting that, you know, he did it for the clout. He did it for the clicks. You know what I mean? That it's just a show and blah, blah, blah. And Zessie's all for it. He's all for being made out to be gay and whatnot just for the sales. Like I said, these dudes will sell their souls for a jelly roll. And it's apparent. Now, that's just one thing. Another thing that I noted about him Zesty is it recently he's been he's been creating beefs or he's been engaged in beefs online with a bunch of nobodies like a bunch of a bunch of a bunch of civilians as they call them in California you know he seems to be pushing up on on younger weaker people who are not gang 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 related or whatever but when it comes to bands or when it comes to anybody that's legit, he runs from it. He continues to run away from it. Now he claims to be street certified and to be and to be a certified stepper. But um the fact is that if in order for you to be all that, you would have to address the issue with bands first. You you're not a you're not a you're not a certified anything. You are not street certified when you got marked out in the streets and you want to run to, to the industry and your artistry to, to hide behind. No, Zesty. It don't work that way. You got marked out in your hood. You're false, you're false, you're false flagging, bro. You're 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 claiming something that you're not when you got marked out in your own hood. So how can you be street certified? How can you be a certified stepper when you ain't stepping the bands about that? Now, when it comes to, to addressing those issues, he's real passive about it, right? Or he's, he's willing to work with some people or whatever, but he wants to claim to be street certified when he hasn't addressed that issue and he keeps pushing up on people that are nobodies. And it's like, who are you trying to convince that you're all that? Because he's sitting there flexing up on, on, on a bunch of kids as I see him. He's supposed to be some big, bad gang member. And you're really engaging with those people in that fashion, flexing up on them. That's the last thing you want to be doing in that environment is to be flexing. Oh, I'm a gang member. I'm this, I'm that. I'm... Because it makes you look weak. It makes you look as if you're trying to convince us that you're something you're not. Any any real person who's really been in the streets and really put in work and really did some time and really got all that on them, yeah, that's not the way they conduct themselves. Because, because history speaks for itself. A person's reputation precedes them, but obviously, Zessie Gunplay, his reputation don't precede him. Now, does it zesty? Because if your reputation preceded you, you wouldn't be there trying to convince everybody of this. Now, when are you going to address bands? I seen American Cholo put out, and it's a good video. I I, I get I get uh, Cholo Juan's uh, uh, his diplomacy. I get I get his stance. I get you know he wants peace and whatnot. But when this dude is running from that fade with bands and you're telling him run from that fade from bands, but he's going and running and doing all this other shenanigans because he can't help himself. He has no self-control. He's a dope fiend that's suspect. He's a dope fiend. That, that we can prove. But street certified and, and all this other, we can't, that ain't, there ain't no, that ain't, that's not verified. It's not very, listen, even if there's homies from his hood, right? They will they will stamp him. 
The fact of the matter is that Bass went over there and, and marked out the whole hood in doing that, and they ain't done nothing to him yet. No, because they're all cloud chasers. And this is what I find on here, is that, those, those, that there's particular channels that are hyping him up, that are promoting him. But if you notice what they put out on him, it's always clip from something he did on another show, and they're trying to justify what he's done. None of these people that are sitting there claiming to promote him and to be this and that with him or whatever, none of them are promoting his music. Why? Could it be that he doesn't have any music worth putting out there, promoting? All of these dudes are, are getting clout off of, off of what he's doing on other shows so they can mention those other shows and him. It's a double whammy. It's two birds with one stone. But what they're not doing is promoting his music because he has none. Like everybody said, at best, mid. And you're talking mid right here on YouTube. You're not talking mid mainstream. You're talking mid right here, YouTube. What is he, what is he doing to book shows? Where's, where, where, when are we going to see a 50 city show? When are we going to see him selling out an arena? A packed audience is bigger than a club. Because that's all these dudes are performing at is clubs. They're bottom of the barrel. They're mid on YouTube. But people seem to think that they're up there because they want that clout themselves that they're chasing. Just like he's chasing it. Just like every rapper or entertainer in the industry is doing. They need that attention. They have to get those clicks. They have to get that clout in order to come up. So to say that they're not is a lie. People are deceiving themselves in all this. But, you know, let's go back to the picture. Let's go, let's go back to all the allegations already about him with the tranny and now this with someone who's claiming to be bisexual. He's really that close to him. Even if he was going in to whisper something to his ear, that was a, you went in for the face. But it's going to eventually come out about him. Because he has no self-control. But when you look at that, when you look at that picture and then you look at the, the exchange of messages between them and you see that it was all for the cloud, or so they claim. Through claiming to be a marketing genius. What what is what is marketing genius about that? When you're promoting nothing but a personality, you're not promoting any music. That's what's lacking in this conversation here. As all of these dudes are doing all of this self-promotion, but they're not promoting their music itself by themselves, for themselves. Because why? If you really, if you were really about the music, if you really had skills and were gifted, then that's what you should be on. But he's not, and they're not. Bunch of shenanigans. Now, I'm going to end with this. Culture vulture. Because a lot of people want to just think that a culture vulture has to be white. But no, a culture vulture can be of any color. A culture vulture is one who devours the culture. Like a vulture. Feasting off the carcass. So when I say they're devouring the culture, just look at the exchange of messages between them two. Look at what they're doing to the culture by playing these games that they're playing. And it's a whole lot of them that are doing this for the clicks, for the attention. Just making stuff up. And it's not about their music. It's about a promotion of self. So they're destroying the culture just to come up for themselves and being anybody they want to be. Now, when it comes to the gang culture, it's not what it was when I was a gang member. Neither was it was the generation before me when I got there and changed things up. But you see, when, when there's, there are those who add to the culture, there's those who take from it. You're destroying the culture by playing these games with your own fan base. 
You're deceiving your own fan base and you think this is marketing genius? <laughs> it's time that these boys wisen up. And it's time Zessie just comes out the closet. You do a lot better for yourself if you tap into that stream than trying to come here, Chicano rapper, street, street certified, certified stepper, when you're not that. You're none of that. You're not even from Los Angeles. Peace in the mouth.